In this tutorial I'll show you how to create a glowing outline effect in After Effects. Begin by adding a video to the timeline, then select it, go up to Edit, Duplicate or press Ctrl D as the shortcut, then open Effects and Presets window and search for Find Edges, then add it to the top video layer. Then in Effect Controls, check the Invert box, this will extract all the edges and give us the core for the outline. Then we add Tint, this way we remove the color and make the outline black and white, then we search for Levels add the levels to the top video layer, then under levels drag the top right arrow to the left, that will make the outline brighter and more defined, then drag the top left arrow to the right to remove the noise in the black background. Then we add a Gaussian blur, and we set blurriness to 5, that will make the outline slightly softer, then we add 4 color gradient, at the bottom of it we set the blending mode to soft light to overlay the color on top of the outline and here we can have up to four different colors of overlay but if you want a single color overlay select the desired color in any of the points and then copy that color to the rest of the points then we add glow the regular stylized glow then we adjust the glow threshold until the glow picks up the outline and we usually go to 50 or less, depends on your footage. Then we set glow radius to 20, then we select the glow, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now for the glow 2, we increase the glow radius to 200, then we duplicate the glow 2 and set the glow radius to something like 600. And once you're happy with the amount of glow, we're going to toggle switch the modes at the bottom until we see the mode column and set the top video layers mode to screen to overlay the outline on top of the actual footage and now we are going to create a simple animation first let's choose the frame at which we want the animation to happen let's say one second for me then we open the settings of the top layer go into transform create keyframes for scale and opacity by clicking on these stopwatch icons then we press u on a keyboard to isolate those properties on the timeline we move one frame to the left and set the opacity all the way to zero that way we don't have the animation until this frame and here the animation happens now let's move a few seconds forward then increase the scale to 150 or higher and set opacity to zero. Now we drag and select all the keyframes, right click any of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, or we can press F9 as the shortcut. Now all the keyframes are selected, we open the graph editor, then right click and make sure edit speed graph is checked. Now we're going to click away, then select opacity, then click on any of the points, let's say this one then, you will see the yellow handles. We're going to drag both yellow handles all the way to the left, then we click on scale and do the same thing, select any of the points and drag the yellow handles all the way to the left. And once you've adjusted the graph, we're going to exit the graph editor. And before we do the preview, we need to add motion blur to make everything nice and smooth. Again, we need to toggle switch the modes and check this icon for the top layer to add motion blur. And here's our final result.